Hello, my name is Janet Nichol, and I'm a former high school history teacher in Vancouver. I've done lots of magazine writing as well, and continue to do that, as well as um, I write lots of British Columbia history articles. Uh, recently, in fact, last June, I wrote my first book. It's a biography called on the Curve, the Life and Art of Sybil Andrews. So I want to talk a little bit about writing nonfiction, using my book as an example, and giving you a few tips as well. Um, I'm always looking for a good story, and I like to tell it through the eyes of one character. This is for nonfiction. So that's why uh, I've gravitated toward biography. So whether it's an artist, a lawyer, a um, community activist, an athlete, a soldier, rather than, for instance, telling, um, un uh, writing an article about World War II in general, it's very engaging to just focus on one person who went through some of World War II, and so you get a lot of history, but you also get the point of view of, of a person. Um, I spent a lot of time in archives and libraries and interviewing descendants of the person that I'm writing about. Uh, of course, during the pandemic, that's become limited, um, but there are online tools that I can use. A lot of databases like Ancestry.com and library databases that are open. And of course, you can interview people on Skype and, and other ways. Um, my writing advice is to read lots of books in the genre that you want to write about. So for me, I've always, re I've always read lots of biographies. I read a lot of other things too, poetry, fiction. But um, when I came to write this book, I had a sense of how biographies are written. Um, I, my another tip is to keep a journal, especially during this time of the pandemic, because that journal will become a precious historic document at a later date and could give you ideas for either a fiction or non-fiction story. Um, uh, the, my favorite uh, parts of writing, for instance, this biography, is the research. It's like detective work, finding all the pieces of the story and putting them together. And I also like forming the, the, the story itself. How am I going to make this interesting? Um, um, so I want to have some kind of a plot, even though it's nonfiction. I want to, to tell it in a storytelling way that makes it interesting. So I use some of the ideas from novels, even though I'm writing nonfiction. Um, my suggestion is once you've got your research done, get it all on, into a draft right away. Just get it down. It doesn't have to be perfect but then go back and revise, revise, revise so it's clear, direct, and each sentence is a good sentence. Right now I'm working on a teen novel on how women got the vote in BC. So I'm, uh, I've luckily did all the research before the pandemic, so I've been working away at storytelling, how to make it an interesting uh, piece of fiction. So that's been a challenge, and, and, and I'm really, I really enjoy trying different types of writing. So good luck with your writing, and good luck with your school year.